What is up guys, this is Captain Ross here at East Town Aquatics and this is my rimless-ish 10 gallon tank. I got some cool stuff in here so let's take a look. So, let's dive right in here. So the first thing you probably noticed is this black guppy. Now, this is kind of a Moscow-ish looking guppy. I'd say it's probably a black Moscow. I got it at Pet Warehouse, which is a really nice fish store. And they just moved and they had got some new stuff, so I decided to pick this thing up, this guy up. And I picked up two other ones that looked like him, but they weren't as good. So I decided to use him as the male for this trio. Well, not really a trio, it's a quartet, but there's only one male. So what we got here are panda guppy females. And I know it's best to keep them as sh like straight. Uh, you use virgin females and pair them with male panda guppies. But I decided to kind of do a hybrid of the strains to make it look good. Because I know I can get more uh, female uh, pandas easier than I can get males. Which when I get a male panda I'll just get some females too and then breed that strain as well but for now we're just gonna go with the Moscow panda setup so yeah he looks really nice um let me know what you think this strain's gonna turn out like I feel like it's gonna be pretty good it just might make a darker looking panda setup now let's get into the scape here in the past this tank has been pretty good I decided to rescape it a while ago, added in another piece of driftwood. I do have an algae problem, but I'm taking care of it. I have an SAE in here, Siamese algae eater, somewhere they like to hide. It's either an SAE or a flying fox, one of the two. It's hard to tell. Um, normally I can tell, but this one's really close. I would assume it's an SAE, um, but it's hiding in there somewhere. It might show up, maybe not. But that's in there just to get rid of some algae, and then I'll take him out. And we should be good. So, I have like this black hair algae stuff. Let me know if you guys know any way of getting rid of this stuff. I know I've done videos on getting rid of algae in the past. And like I've used those techniques, it's just kind of hard to get this type off. It's like a cladophora ish setup, but it's uh, black. So, the black part. The problem with that is you're not going to have like fish eating it as much. You got to have an SAE to get that stuff out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as far as I've seen, the only fish that eat it are SAEs. That's Siamese algae eaters. And then, yeah, I've got that around the tank. Right here is a clam. It's like a freshwater clam. He's just kind of filter feeding. They're pretty good. So yeah, not much, like, nothing too fancy in this tank, but this is a side view. I think this is really cool. I know there's a lot of algae and stuff, but it still looks good. So I think the main thing is, as long as it looks good, because algae is actually not that bad for the fish. It doesn't really harm them. What it does is it just makes your tank look pretty bad, and if you don't control it, then you're going to have an outbreak. So yeah, this is just kind of a quick video introducing the new fish and the strain. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Check out my other videos. I have cobalt reviews coming out. And I'm going to be giving away a ton of cobalt products. So keep watching those reviews. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.